Hi everyone, today we are going to make these pork jowls. I'm Anita from ketogenicwoman.com, where I share keto and carnivore recipes and other cooking ideas. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you check out some of my other videos. These things have helped me to lose over 130 pounds. I hope you join me on this journey as I try to get to my goal weight. For those of you who are coming back, welcome back, and I hope you like today's video. I had no idea you could buy pork jowls, and uh, when I first made them uh, on a previous video as part of a what I eat in a day video, a lot of people commented that they had not seen them in stores or knew what they were. Um, so I'm going to tell you what they are. These are, they are part of the cheek of a pig or a hog, I guess. They are also called hog jowls, um, and they, uh, they're very tender and fatty. So they're good for, you know, if you're doing uh, higher fat carnivore, um, or if you just like, if you like pork belly, but you wanna pay a lot less. Um, so let me, yeah, let me just show you a close up of what it looks like. It, it looks very much like pork belly. You can see that strip there, but it is a fraction of the cost. So around here, pork belly is about $10 a pound and up. This is $3.08 a pound for what I paid. Now, um, when I did make these on a previous video, I did have a, sort of a contingent of people that commented. Apparently, those of you in the south of the US know what this is. Uh, this is a New Year's Day tradition uh, in, in the southern states, I guess, from what I've told, what I've been told, people make this on New Year's Day with greens, like uh, collard greens or turnip greens. Um, so they make some sort of a dish. Now, I've never done that. I haven't looked into what that recipe would be like because I'm just going to make the pork jowls. I also had quite a few comments that people have seen them, but only smoked. Um, the ones that I'm able to get here where I live are always fresh. I've never seen smoke. So um, I am going to just air fry them today. I'm going to slice it like I would pork belly strips. I have not gotten it in a package like this before. Uh, the one that I had the first time I tried it was quite different and this has skin on it. So not 100% sure what to expect, but I'm fairly certain this is going to turn out great in the air fryer. I just, I really enjoyed them the last time. I said they were like pork belly, except for they're way more tender. I can't remember if I mentioned that or not. So I am going to get these out of the package, slice them up and put them them in the air fryer. So let's start up the machine here. This is my new Ninja. It's actually a grill. I call it the air fryer because I air fry in it mostly. I'm going to put it on for at 390. I am thinking about 12 minutes. So I'm going to just get this out of the package and this will warm up and we'll be right back. So I'm going to try to slice it across like that so that it uh, kind of resembles some bacon with the, uh, the fat and the meat going that way. I'm going to do fairly thick slices. This will be for Pippi and Teddy later. Okay, so I've weighed out about nine ounces. Um, I'm measuring my food these days, so I just want to know what it weighed before and what it weighed after. I'm going to save this for tomorrow. Um, and I'm gonna get this going in here. I'm not gonna season this now because I wanna save the lard to be reused and I don't want to get any uh, salt or anything in there. Okay, so that's going to be about 12 minutes and then uh, take it out and 
give it a test. And in the meantime, I'm going to put this one back in the fridge for tomorrow. Okay, so I'm going to flip over. We're about the halfway point. Oh, look at that. I might not go the full six minutes. I think this might have been better at 10 minutes. So I am going to, uh, I'm going to go another three minutes only. So that would be nine or 10 minutes. I think 12 minutes is too much. All right, I'm going to take them out. Because they are, they're looking nice and crispy to me, but still juicy. And that's how I like my pork belly. So I think I want these to be like that. So our nine ounces became six and a half ounces. And I am going to salt them now. Um, I will have the macros up. Um, I need to figure that out. Putting some Redmond salt on them. Now I would like to give them a taste test. So. Okay, so there's kind of a, how they are inside very much like pork belly. Gonna taste it, Teddy. <laughs> so tender and delicious. Um, I love them. So I, I hope you keep an eye open for them. Um, try your butcher. My butcher told me he can order them in at my leisure anytime he can get me as many as I want. So um, that's great because <laughs> they are so delicious. Um, so like I said, I will have the macros up below. Uh, you know, I don't know if I will ever make the New Year's Day traditional pork jowls and, and greens because I like them just like this, um, but you certainly can. So uh, that's it. Nice short video today. We are going to see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.